Hello again from Normandy. We've had some beautiful summer weather. It's been up to 37 degrees centigrade and now it's raining. So we're in the greenhouse, working on the raised beds. We've got compost from the compost bin. It's full of wood lice and my juvenile quail, five little ones here. We're gonna work on that to get rid of the wood lice and also to give them some great quality invertebrate protein. As you can see, these quail are very tame. You can train them to the fork. Come on, quailies, what's this? What's this? Come on, what do we got here? What do we got? Come on. Put it in here. I mean, it's, they're okay here anyway. They're not going to get preyed upon in the greenhouse, but there are things like cacti and barberry figs that have got spines on in here, so I like them to uh, keep reasonably near. But they'll actually, they'll answer to their name. If I call quail, they'll come. Quillies! Come here, Quillies! Hey, Quillies! Come on! Come on, Quillies! Come here, Quillies! What are you doing, Quillies? Come on! It's good Quillies. Good Quillies. And that's another good thing, you can train them to come to your voice. Once they're used to you, they'll come when you call them. you just got to watch they don't get caught between the tines or something like that if you've got a, a big garden fork, but they're really good. And if you can train them like this, then you can actually take them out in your garden. Um, I've done this on several occasions and you can free range them basically, as long as you're there. The, the problem with free ranging quail is always, without the mother that is, is always that um, you're afraid of predators. Because uh, we've got a whole family of buzzards here and uh, you, you can't risk it. And occasionally, in summer people will come on holiday and they'll leave their pets behind like cats so we do get a few stray cats this time of year as well so it's always best to be safe come on then so they've made a pretty good job of this raised bed we'll just finish it off now come on everybody hey buddy where's the other one the missing one oh here you are come on zoop and we'll just carry on. Come on then. There's a few more things in here we can get on with. They'll eat compost worms as well, obviously. Compost worms are very good nutrition. They're better converters than earthworms. So they're full of good stuff. You don't really want to lose your compost worms. You need them in the compost, but the occasional one doesn't matter. But mostly we're getting rid of wood lice, which will eat the roots of your plants if they uh, begin to slightly dry out. So, there you are. I'll get rid of every single one. They're really good. They're really fast. That's the important thing because wood lice can move. So, um, they've got to move with them. They're really good hunters. And as I say, they've been trained by their mother, who in turn was trained by a hen. So they're all skills that they've passed down, or they're skills they've actually got within themselves that have been buried deeply through centuries of being kept in cages and not fed on the proper diet, but they're pretty good. I've actually just seen one of them jump up and catch a, a fruit fly uh, that was passing. So they're, they're really good. They're really excellent workers. And you, you, you can use them in your own garden to great advantage. In greenhouses, they're superb because they will get rid of all the wet aphids and white fly. Once they uh, get it into their mind that that's, that's something that's edible, they, they really stick at it. Um, they will clear all the white fly, all the black fly, off things like beans and 
occasionally um, if you've got something like lettuce I wouldn't let them clean the slugs off lettuce because they'll eat the lettuce um, they don't eat they they are like hens they do self-regulate so once they've had a good feed of greenery they'll then want to feed on uh, something like this pro invertebrate protein so as long as you as long as you um, whoops sorry as <laughs> As long as you give them enough greenery, um, you can you can work with them in a greenhouse. And with, um, but as I say, lettuce, something succulent like that is very tempting for them. So good job all around, Quailies. Good thing to do on a wet day. Finished then. So we finished, have we? What we're going to do next? about in the greenhouse I think. Just keep away from those cacti.